Well, we've made it to the end of our week on epithelial tissue. I hope you've found the classes informative. Just a reminder that the objectives for this week were to describe the basic appearance of epithelial tissue, to understand how epithelial tissue can be classified based on its appearance, to describe the cell junctions that hold epithelial cells together, and to describe how epithelial tissue forms glands. Next week, Sophie is going to be talking to you about the second type of tissue in the body, connective tissue. Connective tissue, as the name suggests, connects different parts of the body together. For example, tendons connect muscle to bone. In fact, bone itself is also a connective tissue. Connective tissue also acts to support epithelial tissue. And lastly, it's a site of inflammation. So every pimple, cut, scrape, or bruise you've ever had has formed in connective tissue. We hope you'll join us next week to learn more about connective tissue.